With how cheap eight core parts are getting, so eight core CPUs, is there any place for six core CPUs in the mid range anymore? Uh, the core thing, CPU thing. They're not that cheap. They're, it, it, it's a it's a tough one because, I mean, I'm trying to get into this without going down this, opening up this can of worms on how many cores you need for things and stuff because the amount of people that said, oh, you know, when, when Zen 4 came out, there's no way I'd buy a, you know, a Ryzen 5 7600X or 7600 because who's buying an eight core CPU in 2023 or whatever it may be. And then you look at that CPU today and it's, you know, as fast or faster than the 5800X 3D, which has been heralded as being such a great value, awesome, mm -hmm. powerful gaming CPU. All right. So you wouldn't have bought a six core because of the, that. That was the theory, right? You wouldn't have bought a six core. Well, again, it comes, we, we try not to focus on core count while relevant within their own product lineups, universally, not so much. So it really comes mm -hmm. down to the overall CPU performance. So core count's relevant when you're picking between, say, a 7600 and a 7700. Um, if the 7700 is only slightly more expensive, probably worth getting um, because overall it'll have a lot more CPU performance from having those extra two cores. But again, if you're comparing a 7600 to a 5700X or something like that, then the 7600 is way better for everything, yeah. really. It's just a much better, more powerful CPU. So if Zen 5 ends up offering the 20% IPC gains, then a six core processor is going to be pretty fast. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, I guess from my perspective, I don't think that the gap between six and eight core is cheap enough to make that statement yet. If you're talking about, let's say there was a $200 six core and like a $220 eight core, sure. then yeah, you in most circumstances, you would just get the eight core model. But mm -hmm. we're still talking about a relatively sizable gap. And this is also true for parts of the Zen 4, I mean, the Zen 3 lineups, if you're still buying your AM4 upgrade pass CPUs. It's changed a little bit now with the 5700X3D offering that sort of lower cost option for people, um, which is still an eight core part. But yeah, it's generally speaking, the six core options, they're still viable. They That's still right. make sense. So to back up what you're saying, AM4, for example, you're paying $130 for a Ryzen 5 5600 or $205 mm -hmm. for a 5700X. So it's, so, a, it's a substantial difference yeah, there. Prices have moved around, but as, as we're filming, that is the current retail pricing of those two parts. So yeah, six cores, they definitely still make sense. I'm sure there will be a time in the future where sort of like quad cores and dual core parts, they will become this diminishing returns thing where it's so cheap to get a higher core count part that you just wouldn't bother with mm -hmm. the six core models. Mm -hmm. But I would imagine that a big staple of the Zen 5 line will be a six core processor around that mainstream price point. So I imagine six cores will continue to live on and continue to be relevant even with eight core options. It's just... Because having more powerful cores <laughs> means you need more, uh, fewer of them. Mm -hmm. So as CPUs get you know more powerful per core, then the demand for 8, 12, whatever core CPUs becomes less and less for gaming because mm -hmm. we're not at a stage yet. Like how long have we been talking about gaming, you know, saturating, pick an 8 core CPU. What what CPU do, do game, games saturate? Like they don't saturate mm -hmm. a 5800 uh, X3D or even a, a 5700X or a 5800X. No, no they're all limited um, by cache performance, single thread performance for gaming, typically memory bandwidth and those and, things. And we saw it, the, the Ryzen 5 5600 murders the new 5700 CPU, or mm -hmm. murders maybe a stretch, but it beats it com comfortably in most games mm -hmm. because it has twice as much L3 cache. So cores, again, as I said in that video, within reason, aren't that important for gaming performance. There's, there's a lot of other things that go into making... Mm -hmm. uh, a powerful CPU. So, yeah. Yep. But anyway, I think we've answered that question mm -hmm. and then added to it. 